All right, welcome to the much requested interview with more Ekro's mom today. Uh, someone dropped a comment recently saying it was time to get your mom on the channel to answer some questions and to uh, give her impressions, right? Sure. So thank you for coming on the show today. Of course. As usual, I have nothing prepared. Okay. So the first question I think people want to know about from... Uh, I forgot the subscriber's name, but he said, what did you know about Morocco before I went there? Okay, I will be honest, I didn't know a lot. I knew it was by the Atlantic Ocean. Um, I really didn't know that much about it. I knew it was a country in Africa, but that's probably all I knew. Um, I had heard the song Marrakesh Express, that's about all I knew about it. Um, so we have issues here, right? We I mean, definitely have some issues going on here. Sorry about that. It's like uh, I don't know how to. Oh my gosh. Sorry, we we have technical difficulties here. You see, Andrea. Um, we're gonna do our best with this. I don't know why it's like this, but I got my. And now it's like this. Look. Huh? Now it's like this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's screwed up. But what you gonna do? Uh, sorry about this, everybody. So Marrakesh Express. What? What? Uh, this was in the '70s. So just a song. I, I just knew that that was in Morocco, and I didn't know much else about Morocco. I'll be honest. I learned a lot from your channel, and I found it amazing and how. Um, kind all the people were i loved how everybody embraced you obviously you're my son and i love that people embraced you and um the food always looked delicious and yeah so what did you think when i told you i, I have a one-way ticket to morocco what did you think well you were always adventurous so it didn't really surprise me they did a one-way ticket. I know you really wanted to surf there. And um, and so I just hope that you would meet up with some people who were nice and would help you learn things. And it's, I think that all that happened. You made some really nice friendships. And um, yeah, I... I'm very, I, th I think it was everything you wanted it to be. And uh, Melvin had a question. He said, uh, ask your mom how the channel influenced her view of Morocco. Well, it gave me a lot of information. I really didn't have any um, ideas, good or bad about it. I just knew that it was far away. And you've been far away before too. You know, you've been to Australia, New Zealand, Bali. So um, that wasn't, that was pretty common for you to go far away. Um, but I, I was just so glad that you had the channel because I could see you, I could see you enjoying your life, I could see you enjoying the people, the culture, um, the weather. So um, I really didn't have any opinion before, but now I know it's just a beautiful place. What surprised you most from the videos? Hmm. All of the cats. There were so many cats. I, I couldn't cats. believe how many cats there were. That was surprising. <laughs> There's a lot of cats and how everybody kind of embraced Jubbly when um, he had those health issues. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, that was probably my biggest prize with so many cats. We love Jubbly. Hold on one second. Andrea, uh, ask a question. I'll be right back. Um, so people ask, like, if you have been to Morocco, but obviously... Not. I have not been to Morocco. I've only been to Europe, um, outside of the United States, and Mexico. And in Europe, I was only in Italy, and that was many, many years ago. Um, so I would say, um, yeah, no, I had not been to Morocco. I had not been uh, mm -hmm. to that continent of Africa And at all. Fatima is asking, will you ever overcome your fear of flying, which... You don't really have. Well, I do have a little bit, yeah. I, I'm not a relaxed flyer at all. I don't relax. I usually am kind of white enough so far. That's good. Hopefully, now that I'm retired, I can start thinking about that. So you would like to visit Morocco one day? I would love to. I, I would love to. I, wanna, I want to taste all the different foods and 
get a feel for um Oh my gosh. Sorry about this, everybody. Okay. I'm really sorry. Okay. I'm here by myself. This never <laughs> happens. Uh, hopefully the audio, do we still have audio? Uh, hopefully the audio, do we still have okay, audio? Okay, okay, we're good. Now we have the gimbal, because you need to check on the food, Andrea, make sure uh, it's not burning or anything. We can't have you okay. holding the camera the whole time. We appreciate I just want to make so sure far. you're into Okay, so we were talking about her visiting Morocco, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would love to someday. Um, as some of you know, I just retired a week ago, so that I would love to visit someday. It just looks amazing. It's just beautiful. And what food has looked the best from our channel? What did you want to try most? Mmm. Well, there's so many things. Um, the couscous. Couscous? Yeah. That was, you know, here we have couscous, but we make it into a salad. It's not like a nice warm dish. It just looks like a really good comfort food. And I get it every Friday there, so that's good. Okay. Uh, what else? What did you enjoy most about the Moroccan restaurant? A Shokran restaurant? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, the waiter was so hospitable, and um, the tea was delicious, the mint tea, and... Finally, I got to taste things that I've just been watching on your channel, so that was really fun. <laughs> uh, people ask you, because you wear a cross, are you Catholic? Um, I was born Catholic, and I changed churches, so I do go to a Christian church now, Waterfront Community Church. And um, so I'm not, I don't consider myself Catholic religion, but I am Christian. Okay, and why did you go to this new church? Um, actually, because of you. You went to Australia, and um, the first when you were only 18 or 19, and it was before a lot of the technology, so um, I wanted to find a church where I could feel um, close to God, and um, I found that in my church, and my pastor was very uh, warm, and it's just a very good community. And I like that in my church, the um, mission statement is loving God and people well. And I think I see that a lot in Morocco as well. I see the people loving God and loving people well as well. So I think that's a similarity between the two. Yeah, I, I like to see that community bonding through mm -hmm. religion. Uh, the more we could get this to be a global community, I think we have a lot less problems in the world because yes. when we do have that community that brotherhood of loving god and loving the people love thy neighbor it really mm -hmm. makes things work better I, I see people taking care of one another mm -hmm. better in morocco i think than here in usa yeah. one second time out again we have all these things going on okay dryers closed we, we did not have the best conditions for this today sorry about that and jay you got next question coming up uh, yeah, somebody is asking, uh, what's her name? Did you tell her? Well, my name is Linda. Linda. <laughs> Linda means beautiful in it's Spanish. Bad, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And Lavina says, happy retirement. Thank you very much, Lavina. I always enjoy your comments as well. Actually, before COVID, we were trying to plan to get to Ireland because my mother-in-law has never been and her father was born in Ireland, I think County Mayo, I'm not sure. So I've always wanted to get back to Ireland as well. And we were kind of talking about it and then COVID hit. And where are you from? Are you Jewish? Me? Hmm. No, I'm not Jewish. Um, all of my relatives were born in Italy and Sicily. Um, and they were all Catholic. Mm -hmm. So. And the last time you were in Italy, what year was that? 1975, I was 19. And I went with your great grandma, who was my grandma, Nani. So it's been 46 years since you crossed the Atlantic. 46 years. Ooh, I'm old. So that's going to be, uh, if you do come to Morocco, that's going to be quite the journey. That's like a. Yes, it will be, yeah. But I was thinking about it, you know, before, you know, going, before you went to Morocco, I was thinking about eventually getting back there. I have a cousin who um, lives in the Rome area, and I'd love to see her again, Ilaria. <laughs> So you can kill two birds with one stone. Go to Europe and then come down to Morocco. Yeah, I'm halfway there, right? Yeah. yeah. I had a dream. Grandma was in Morocco one time. Can you imagine that? No. 
She's nervous about flying to Florida three, yeah. four hours. She's not even excited about that trip, really. Grandma worries about, yeah, being on a plane. And, yeah, I tell her it's safer than being in a car, but she doesn't believe me. Yeah, she was in, uh, she's by Devil's Rock in my dream. I also had a dream one time that my siblings were there, Dan and Carrie, mm -hmm. uh, in Marrakesh. Do you see them ever traveling to Morocco? Possibly, yeah, possibly, you know, Carrie's raising the girls, so probably when the girls are a little older, maybe. And Dan, I'm not sure. Yeah, I ask him. Dan hasn't gone anywhere but Canada. So. He's been to Canada, yeah, and the U.S., yeah, that's about it. But again, I think that was 1976 when he went to Canada. Yeah, that was no, it was probably it was around the year 2000, 2001. Yeah, 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 something like that. So, so I don't know if he's got the yeah. adventure. He likes a lot of the U.S. states, you know, he lived in Colorado for a while. So I believe that's asking, were you born in the U.S.A. or did you immigrate from Italy? I was born in the U.S. I was born in Chicago, and my mom was born in Chicago, but her parents are born in Italy. And then my dad was born in Chicago, um, and his parents were both born in Sicily. Although his mom might have been born in Chicago, and then by the time she was two, they went back to Sicily. Hmm. And have you been to Sicily? I have not, but you have. Hmm. So I wanted to get there sometime too, so. No retirement, no. The world is open. God willing, yep. Yeah. And Jerry, we got next question. Yeah, what would be your reaction if your son would become a Muslim? That's a good Ooh. one. <laughs> you know, I have thought about that. And um, we'll ha if he ever does, I'll have to figure it out. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. I don't. Um, that's a, a tricky question, though, because there, you know, there's one God. I believe there's one God. And, um, yeah. I think, as you said before, it'd be nice if we all could, you know, agree mm -hmm. on things. So, yeah, I don't, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you like hearing your voice in the background? Not at all. No. And this is your first live stream, right? Yes. Ever? Not even on Facebook, Instagram, you, anything you like know, that? No, I don't. I'm usually pretty private, but I guess I'm not private anymore <laughs> since I'm on your live stream. Because you're retired now. You know, I'm retired, so. yeah. Why not? No, uh, yeah, it's uh, tough, you know, I used to be more of a private person as well, but uh, I started making the YouTube videos, and what did you think when you saw my first YouTube video? I was so excited because you weren't much to keep in touch, usually, like, you know, like, we don't text a lot or anything when you're overseas, so I was just so excited to see you, the soups, I love the soups, I wanted to go to a soup someday. I thought that was just amazing. All that beautiful fruit and vegetables, and especially even when we had the cold weather here, i turn on your channel and see you at the soup, and I thought, oh, so beautiful. What was the first video you saw? Um, with the More Echo channel? Mm -hmm. I think it was the one where Andrea, you walked into the kitchen and you called her Anya. That's the first video. I think that was the first one I, I saw. And what did you think when you first saw Andre? I thought, ooh, she's a beautiful girl and she knows how to cook. That's great. We're going to taste her cooking for the first time tonight. We'll yeah. see if that uh, judgment still stands. I'm looking for it. Well, I've, I've seen her make focaccia and I don't, even though I'm Italian, I've never made focaccia, so I'm already impressed. Mm -hmm. What's your next question, Andrea? Um, what's the first city in Morocco you would like to visit? Um, boy, I saw a lot of those really cool, when you went south, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. I think it would have to be Town Rock because that's where I feel like I'd walk there and I feel like I'd know where I was going. I feel like I could go to that coffee place and feel mm -hmm. like I would know my way around. But you can't fly into Town Rock, so you got to go... You know, wherever. Wherever. Marrakesh, Casablanca, yeah. Agadir. Yeah, it's not easy, you know, people always say... I don't know. From America to Morocco, there's a few direct flights to Casablanca, um, but it, it stops a lot of Americans from mm -hmm. traveling there, I think. It's just the distance. And right. And you have to transfer planes, and that's always mm -hmm. not fun. I, I met a few other Americans in my travels there, but most of the people I would meet were from Europe. Okay. Um, do you have a passport? 
I do. Okay. I do. That's I renewed it when you actually, I'm trying to think when I did. So I thought if I have to get somewhere, I need a passport. <laughs> so I got, I, bought, I got it with hopes of uh, traveling. Huh, that's good. So you're ready for Morocco then? Uh, yeah, I would be. Fatima says, come to Agadir and I will cook couscous. Oh, I'll take you up on that if I ever come. That would be great. Yeah. Thank you, Fatima. You'll have some home cooked uh, couscous. A lot of people were saying, Mom, come to Morocco. Mom, come to Morocco. Uh, treat you like a princess. Make Moroccan food. Mm -hmm. I like the story when you told me the one time you were just walking and you were really hungry and just some people came out of their homes and welcomed you and said, Come and eat couscous with us. Well, they were already eating on the street. They didn't yeah. come out of their homes. They were, oh, they were, they were already eating. They asked you to join. Yeah. I thought that was so kind. They had a big thing of couscous, and then the Leben buttermilk came out, and uh, they were trying to get the rain to come. It was mm -hmm. before a lot of the rains in the past year. This was like 2019, I think. And, uh, yeah, I and remember that some good story. Couscous. And people were coming by, and they were getting some couscous too. It wasn't even a Friday, so. So I feel the Moroccan people are very generous of spirit and generous. I feel like if they have something, they're going to share it with you, whether it's food or you know, come into their home, and uh, you know, I, I saw some beautiful meals you shared with people that you really had just met through the channel. Yeah. And the generosity was amazing. Mm -hmm. And the food looked delicious too. It was really uh, special to have all those invites. Thank you to everyone that had us over and opened their homes to us, provided a meal. It's always a good learning experience and a good time to connect and mm -hmm. share. Um, would you like to come to Morocco for a tour, or maybe you plan to stay longer? <laughs> Retire to Morocco. Um, yeah, probably it would be, you know, a finance thing, you know, obviously. I, the longest usually I ever take a vacation is seven days, so I'd have to stay longer, right? Because it would take two days to get there and two days to get home, so yeah, we'll have a, to see. Like a day and a yeah. half it took us to get home. Yeah. It was long travels. Uh, you gonna miss us while we're gone? Okay, I told you you weren't supposed to make me cry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very bittersweet. I've loved having you both here so much. Um, you know, both, I hadn't seen you in over a year. I had only seen Andrea on the channel. So it was really a dream come true having you both spend a month here. And um, I know it's time for you to move on. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I know, you know, Andrea will be so happy to see her family and to have the baby there. So, um, yeah, I'm trying not to think of this, you know, that it's coming to an end, but it quickly is. And But I've enjoyed every second you guys have been here. That's good. How long do you think we've been live streaming? What's your sense of time right now? Uh, my sense of time is, feels like it's three hours. Three hours? It's probably only like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's under 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, it always feels like a long time, especially at the start. But then once you get comfortable, yeah. and it starts to slow down. We're not going to go super long today, but... I just want to thank all your followers, too, because they've embraced you as well. All your subscribers, they've embraced you. Yeah, it's been uh, good to have this family there. Okay, we've got a question. Yeah, someone's raising their hand in the background. Yes, yes you in the back. <laughs> um, any future travel plans? I guess, I guess for everybody. And um, Linda, are you going to Slovenia with Kevin and Andrea? I am not going to Slovenia uh, with Kevin and Andrea. Um, I am not, but I hope to visit once the baby's here, you know. Yeah. I would love to visit. Um, and now that things are opening up, right, hopefully it'll be easier to go. Yeah, I, th I think the world is changing now. You're vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. Um, actually, everyone, uh, I mean, not Andrea, but my, our whole family is vaccinated, actually. Mostly. Uh, my family is. Yeah. You've my got, side of the family, not your side of the family. You've got, some, yeah, yeah, they're still in the house. Right. That's true, right. But I'm talking about, like, my mom, all the kids, you know, mm -hmm. not the little ones, of course, but yeah. What was it like, uh, the coronavirus here in America? Because we're kind of watching the past year and a half yeah. from Morocco with our popcorn and what, what was it really like here? So um, I worked before I retired, I was a teacher assistant for uh, special education students and um, one day they, you know, we heard it on the news and 
Um, my sister asked me, she said, what do you think is going to happen about this? I said, well, it could be nothing or it could be really bad. I wasn't sure. I used to be in the medical field before, so I kind of had a feeling that, you know, we had the, the last pandemic was in um, 1919, so it's 100 years, we're almost due for another one. So I said, we'll just see. And then I think we had the first one in Illinois case was in Hoffman States. Well, then, you know, it just started going all over. And then they said, we're going to close the schools for two weeks. And that's what we thought. It was just going to be two weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, as we all know, it just kept going up and up and up and up. Um, and actually, the schools then didn't open up again for students till fall. Mm -hmm. um, and initially, not even, we were just in the building. And then initially, they brought uh, other, you know, kids back in by before, before the end of the year, before the end of the uh, 2020. Um, and it was, um, I think most people, there's a lot of anxiety because no one really knew like when it was going to end. And then if you got it, you might be okay. Or you might be one of those unfortunate people who ended up on a ventilator or worse, passed away. And it seemed, it was like no rhyme or reason. Sometimes very healthy people would end up passing away. And sometimes people who had cancer and you know they were in intensive care they survived so i think anxiety was the unknown of even if you did get it you didn't know you know really which way it was going to go so yeah anxiety is a good word there because mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of the suffering that actually came from coronavirus wasn't the coronavirus but the anxiety and fear and separation of families, loss of jobs, that actually mm. was a product of this. It wasn't so yeah. much the virus that caused all these problems, but people's reaction to it. Right, and if you worked in a restaurant, the restaurants had to close, so all those people were without work. Um, restaurants closed, the only thing that stayed open was like grocery stores, um, like your, what would you call the Walmart, like... Super center. Yeah, like something where you could buy um, Massive groceries. corporation. And, yeah, those were the, I mean, there weren't any small businesses were not allowed to be open. The, uh, all the park districts closed. Um, schools were closed. So you can imagine how Morocco is suffering. Now, hopefully, the borders opening will open June 15th. Okay. We hope to see a rebound of the tourism industry, but a lot of our friends or surf camp owners or surf instructors mm -hmm. and... That, that's what we saw right. firsthand, and the restaurants as well, of right. course. So It also uh, affected Canada a lot, too, because they have a lot of fishing charters and that type of thing. So, of course, their borders are still closed. So a lot of those uh, little outfitters, it's like mom and dad kind of, pop, mom and pop kind of companies, like, and they, they depend on the people coming into Canada to fish, and those people all, you know, a lot of them have lost their businesses. It's very unfortunate. Any good questions out there, Andrea? What do you think about Fauci? Um, I actually like him. I, I think still. Um, I know you told me you liked him like a yeah, year ago. Yeah, I think that I don't think anybody had all the answers because it was new. So I think he did the best. He was probably more proactive and more conservative than a lot of people wanted him to be. But um, I felt that. You know, we, we needed some guidance, and I felt, I don't think he gave us any, you know, bad guidance, you know. Was it so. new or was it woo? Was it made in a lab? Oh, I, I have no idea. I have no idea if it was new or woo. I don't know. I don't know if it even matters because it's, it's you know, it, it came. It doesn't matter, you know. It, it's bad. Mm. Let's just hope that. You know. Well, you saw China having uh, water park parties last summer, and you, mm -hmm. you told me their response, they're welding people in their homes. I did see a news clip of that, that uh, if you had it, like, if you were out, they were, you know. Yeah, you think it's propaganda, or you think it's true? You know, I never looked into it, I just thought that it's terrible either way, you know, it's just, yeah. Why so. do you think uh, America had such a deadly crisis with all their hospitals and medical technology, while in Morocco, I don't think it was as bad. You know, I, I that's a good question. Um, well, first of all... I said they had like two ventilators in Agadir, is what I Right, think. right. Um, it's probably a different way of treating patients as well, like perhaps there's more aggressive treatments here for whatever reason. 
But I do think that in here, you know, we're all inside all the time. And maybe, I don't know, they said it passes more when you're inside. Like, people in Morocco, usually they shop in the soup that's outside. It's healthier than being in a room with someone who maybe in a grocery store is going to cough and then you could get it, you know? So I think, yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting that, you know, and the density of people, too. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Mr. P who dropped our first super chat ever. He donated two pounds, which is awesome. Andrea looks like she's got two questions where she's giving us a peace sign. <laughs> first so, question. Ahmed is asking, what do you think about Andrea? And can you describe in one word? What do I think about what? Andrea, and can you describe her in one word? <laughs> I love Andrea. Um, mm -hmm. And I couldn't ask for anybody better for my son. I think she is beautiful inside and she's beautiful outside. Sometimes people are just beautiful outside, but she's beautiful inside as well. So my one word would be beautiful. I remember when, I, uh, when this whole thing started, I actually had a ticket to London and there were still flights from London to Chicago at the time, and I sold my ticket because I wanted to stay in Morocco. And again, we thought it was going to be like a month or, you know, two yeah. weeks or something. And you go, oh, I hope that was a wise decision. Who said that? You said that. Oh. You were disappointed. But if you didn't stay, you wouldn't end up with Andrea. Yeah. So it's good that you stayed. That was a benefit of the uh, lockdown. Next question from the press. Were you scared when your son Kevin got stuck in Morocco with the pandemic? You know, the numbers were always so much better than they were here. So I really wasn't. I thought, I think it's good he stays there. The numbers there were always lower. The percentage was lower. So I think I just thought, no, I was actually, I was very glad he was there because they were better numbers. <laughs> oh, no. We're trying to get the microphone. The microphone is just for decoration at this point. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what happened with this live stream. We've never live streamed in this orientation. We don't even take videos in this orientation. But it works. What do you got going on now there? You got beeping? What'd you do to it? I don't know if we still have audio. I it's our... time to... <laughs> oh God, people are gonna get sick watching this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh my how do I rotate it? That yes. Way. Okay, 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 this is so bad if you're watching the video. So bad. Everyone's so sick. Okay, I'm gonna just bring this closer. Oh my. People say it's pizza oven temperature in Montreal today. It's been very hot here. Too yes, recently. it was in the 90s here, 90s Fahrenheit, so. That's one of the things you always like to call and talk about the weather. I don't like to talk about the weather so much, but uh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> right? It's been very hot. Yeah. You lay back next to I your lay mom. Back? Yeah. yeah, like this. Oh my, it looks like and you both speak louder. Mr. P dropped us in the super chat. That's really cool of him. I've never seen that before. So that's really cool. Mr. P. I don't know. I've never, I've never heard so much of Mr. P, but he's he's in the super chat now, and uh, we're grateful for him. So thank you for that. Okay. We just enabled that the other day. Uh, so it's yeah, cool. Yeah. Way to do live streams. Sally Kirby is in the chat, everybody. Sally, thank you for driving them to the airport. I really <laughs> appreciate it. And then I saw the the um, the vlog that had you know you driving there and stopping for watermelon, and it just made my heart happy. Thank you so much for being a good friend to them too. Yeah, it really helped out a lot to uh, have that ride instead of taking the bus, especially with Andrea being pregnant. We yeah. had a good time driving. We had this bag of potato chips. It was really good. Lovely evening with our friend Leonore. And we miss you, Sally, very much. Yeah, and I plan to take a yoga class online with you one of these days. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Sally Kirby does yoga online. I don't know what her schedule is exactly right now, but if you want to catch a yoga class with Sally, it is possible. So that's always mm -hmm. good news. We saw Sally learning skateboard the other day. Very exciting. Uh, and we miss you, Sally. Tim's always got questions about Sally, too. <laughs> he does. He's curious. Oh, there's another question here. Yes. From you in the back. Uh, would you consider living in Morocco like us and with your mom? Would you consider living in Morocco, us and with mom? Mom's not going to leave her family here. Yeah, I have. My mom is 86, so 
And um, with the grandchildren here, I don't, like a lot of people in my age group, they go to Florida, um, like they move to Florida, because it's a warmer climate, they don't have to shovel snow, but I don't see ever leaving Illinois, even though I don't like the weather, because family's here. Mm -hmm. Next, you in the back. Um, how did you manage, that's more for Kevin, the change of audience once you went back to the U.S., did, mm -hmm. you, did it affect your concept? Content production choice. Good question. Yeah, we stopped making so many videos because every video we made that didn't feature Morocco directly would lose subscribers. Not a ton of subscribers, but every Chicago, Chicago food video would get at least minus three as much as minus ten. And that's sad to see because food is still a passion of mine as well as just sharing what, what is going on here. I thought people would be more interested in seeing what life would be like uh, in America from our lens, but sadly that was not the case. So we've kind of gravitated back toward more Morocco content. Of course, the restaurant was a very popular video. The Tajin at home looks like it's a popular one coming today. And also our comparison, our souk shopping with our 200 dirham bill. Those were our most popular videos since we've been back. So it, it's been tough to be like, okay, people aren't so interested. But we've had these lows in the channel before, so we know that we could go up again. And just just having patience for that. I'm happy to have made these videos, just to capture these moments with family as well. Mm -hmm. My nieces are young and they've been in some of these videos, so we'll always be able to remember these times. Can I tell the story about last summer, when, about your channel? Yeah, go ahead. So here's my favorite um, YouTube story with Kevin. I was in Florida last summer um, in a little town called Indian Rocks Beach, and um, I was going to a souvenir shop, uh, and um, we, I was buying a t-shirt for you, actually. And so we went to check out, and the man was very nice, and he said, where are you from? I said, you know, we're from Schaumburg, and I said, where are you from? And he said, I'm from Morocco. I said, oh, I said... My son is living in Morocco. And he looks at me and he said, is he a YouTuber? I said, yes. He goes, I can tell the curly hair, he looks like you. So here I was in Florida, buying a t-shirt for Kevin and this lovely Moroccan uh, store owner recognized you know, my hair and said, I follow him. So I thought that was, I just, I was just, I thought, oh my gosh, he's really popular. I'm in Florida and someone knows his channel. Like that was at the beginning of the channel too. That was like in, well, maybe. Yeah, a year ago, it's probably 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, or so. yeah. So that's like one of my favorite um, Morocco Mor 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 story. Yeah, that's <laughs> really funny. When it was I heard a great, that, I was yeah. like, whoa. So when I go back to Florida, I might go back and find this uh, store owner again and talk yeah, to him. Say hello to him. I, Fouad, I think is his name, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's very nice. So it was just small world. Yeah, I liked hearing that story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been good to be back. Oh, two questions in the back. Ahmed just says, thanks, Mom, for your answers. I love Simply You Are the Best. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Everybody's been very kind on the channel and in the videos I'm in, too, and that's very nice. Thank you very much. Hi, beautiful Mom from Habiba. Hello. And we got 80 people watching right now. Linda, are your curls natural? They look great. <laughs> yeah, well, so I'm 64, and when I was 17, it was the 70s, and everybody had straight blonde hair, and I had curly brown hair. So I didn't like the curls in the 70s, but now I like them because it's easy. So I just washed my hair, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy, as you can see, mine. <laughs> you need a little product in there. <laughs> Some argan oil is what we've found to do the yeah. trick. Yeah, yeah, that works nice for your hair. The ocean, and then the shower, and then argan oil. No shampoo or anything in the shower. That's how Brahim taught me to do that. Yeah, he's got nice curls, too. Yeah, he said, just, you know, go surfing, rinse it out with water, and then some argan oil. Tarkin's curls, curls, too. A lot of Moroccan yeah. people have, uh, I don't think there's many Moroccans with straight hair. Huh? Well, I think the curls came from my dad from Sicily. So I think 
I think Cecily is big on curls. You think <laughs> that's where it comes from? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, that's my thing. It's not the Jewish. <laughs> no, but everyone used to think my dad was Jewish. They always thought he was, so. But I mean, Cecily's been taken over from so many countries, so. Why did they think he was Jewish? Appearance, because he had the curly dark hair. Nose. A little bit of a nose? Big nose. Yeah. yeah, so they would think, yeah. Okay. Alright, are we done? Yeah, do you want to be done? Mom seems uncomfortable. <laughs> well, Maybe one last question okay. and then we got to pick up grandma, right? Right. We're at 36 minutes right now. Okay, that's long enough. Yeah, well, it's like a podcast. The podcast you see are usually like an hour. Domestic Trap mm-hmm. podcast was like 40, 45 minutes. Okay. So, uh, where is Andrea? Andrea is administering the chat right now. Should we show her? Yeah. We show her. There she is. Wait, go to that. There she is. Say, everyone say hello to Andrea. We like Andrea so much. Oh, oh we got a... Very cool. I like the view here. Yeah, that's... Now it's working. So, Andrea, you want to say uh, goodbye? Yeah. Or hello, goodbye? Hello and goodbye. Thank you, everybody, for coming today our chat sorry for the difficulties sometimes things just don't work out and we didn't want to stop the chat because then then we would lose the whole pe- all the people who were already in the chat so we didn't want to stop the live and the interview i hope you still enjoy it and hopefully we're going to do better next time yes yeah, uh, sally says hello gorgeous lady can you turn to the side a little bit okay this is where we're at right now not too bad right yeah, like seven months, and yeah. So there's Andrea on the live stream. Finally, we get to see her. Baby will be coming in August. Uh, happy birthday to Nick Gurr, Boyzen says. So, uh, Mom, any last words? Um, just again, thank you to all the subscribers who have embraced more Afro and Andrea. It warms my heart. Um, I love reading all of your comments. Um, and <laughs> thanks again for joining us today. And this is the last chance for mom, so say goodbye. Bye. Bye, mom. Andrea, you'll see you later. We're going to Slovenia soon. Thanks for dropping in, everyone in the chat. Oh, we're at our peak now, 90 people watching, but we're going to have to say goodbye. See you. Goodbye. And uh, bislama.